Hey everybody, it's your girl Aqua Teal, and I just wanted to show you guys these are the decks I'm using. I have a couple more decks, and I really haven't gotten into that chakra meditation deck yet, but these will be the cards I'll be using most of the time, and I'll be introducing a couple more in the future. Uh, but the video I'm about to show you guys now, these are the cards I'll be using. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's your girl Aqua Till. And I had a little time on this lovely Saturday morning, I believe it is. Got my days all mixed up. My son is not here. So it's just me and lovely at the moment. So hopefully I'll be able to get out a good message for you guys. So let me go ahead and clear the energies. If you haven't, please look at our other messages that I've put up this week. It's been keeping a... I'm sorry. I'm always getting interrupted, but let's clear the energy. Let's pray. Thank you to the Most High, to my ancestors and the people all over. We come here to unite, to hear a word, to help us open our third eye and understand what's going on in this spiritual journey. Let us have peace, love, light, and happiness and abundance to change the world for better. We are the nation. We are the next. We are the people. And I noticed we're editing my video that I was burning my um, my thing or whatever. So I had to move my chakra candles over. And then I had to take a chakra candle out because I didn't want it still too close to be burning. I usually never burn these candles, but something told me if you're working on your chakras and you need it, you know you have to have that. And I'm missing my base chakra, so... We all are here to work hard on our base chakra, focusing on our foundation. It's been a continuous message from the other videos. Four always pop out and harmony always pop out with six. So we're working hard to build a foundation so that we can grow our nation. If you are new, please like, comment, and subscribe. You know, share the word. This is new. I am new and I am Aqua Till if I haven't said so before and I came to fight and I hope you did as well. I want to take a moment of silence just to get the energies and relax and get us started. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And they leaded me to our scared oracle deck. So and lovely over there playing with that bone so if you're scared watch our last video two videos it was like releasing the world and the people in your life and how they won't you know like the new you and the change or whatever so they wanted me to pull all of those but i'm not be the hunter not the hunted so basically in the other reading that i did it was saying that you had some people around you that were fake or, you know, hiding right in front of you and not really telling you what their real intentions were. It could be a lover, it could be a friend, it could be family, or it could be a co-worker, but don't be hunted. Be the hunter, not the hunty. The hunted so this card is eight so it's on our way for you to be able to be able to fight in this spiritual warfare so there's basically telling me that we have to get prepared we have to take the steps that we need to be able to hunt and fight and you know protect ourselves and our youth and my son was in the last video a lot and when I was editing it it was really telling me that I should have spoke on protecting your kids and teaching your kids don't just work on yourself work on your kids because they're learning the toxic traits it all starts at home and growing up people really don't know what that mean like your kids are your twin your kid is you so if you've grown and you've changed but you really haven't redirected your child 
your child is the next generation. So if you're not fixing your child and you're letting your child continue to do the things that weren't done, I mean, the you know, not doing the right things in the world, then we're really setting ourselves up for failure because you're changing, but you're not changing for the best or changing the best person. The birth, I put all my eggs in my son. I'm giving him everything he needs to be successful and to have his cup overflow. And I was telling my sister, like, you need to slow down, you know, and think more into your child. Like, I explain everything to my child as it happens in this world. I'm teaching him how to stand ten toes down and be prepared and not let people dis disrespect him. But if you're walking in a house with friends or family and they're disrespecting you right off bat or every little word or every little thing is disrespectful, I like to remove myself from that because how are you going to teach your child respect and uh, boundaries and all that good stuff if the people around you or you know people you call say that you love or stuff like that not treating you right or and then you know you can't really fault them much because that's how they grew up joking and you know playing it off but really they're serious and they're really hiding right in your face how they really feel I'm sorry I didn't unite the people or cleanse the energy so this is our dinner bell <coughs> calling all the people calling the nation to unite to unite the dinner bell come eat this harvest come learn this knowledge <laughs> I'm joking y'all but I'm serious at the same time like I don't want y'all to think I'm weird or anything but yeah and then the bottom of the deck is inspiration three so for you to be able to create and have abundance and spread because bees pollinate and spread seed and you know well whatever you need to pollinate and you can't grow like I keep saying you cannot grow flowers in a concrete jungle and you cannot and they keep saying go back to the children this look she looks like a little girl she looks like a you know a youth you have to give your kids the knowledge and light that they need to prosper so right again we're not too late for us it's not too late to teach your old dogs a new trick but i really feel like we need to focus more on the youth and the children and changing how we greet them or how we interact with them I'm going straight to it with the big dogs, y'all. My dog, she out and she getting on my nerves. She done bumped the camera. She doing a lot, but you know, I gotta let her be free. So if y'all don't wanna be caged up and y'all ready to get out these mouse holes, it's snowing right now. If y'all seen the picture, uh-oh, that I put up before. So Dawn, 15, sexuality, the masculine and feminine within are receiving healing now. So if you did watch my other, and then this one card fell out, the owl, wisdom, use all of your senses to prevent the wisdom and information you are seeking. So they're telling me that we all need that yin and that yang, that feminine and that masculine and don't go out looking for that within another person because they cannot fill your cup if their cup is half empty. Soon I'm going to get a tattoo on my wrist that is a cup and it's going to be saying half full, not half empty. So basically this is telling me that some of you guys probably have mother and father issues and it turned into sexuality. Even though that's kind of weird because, you know, you grow up looking for your partner to be a daddy or you look for your mother to be a mother I mean your partner to be a mommy and it gets a little weird but I want to back it up and say really start like get out of the sexual energy and there's a face in here so if you really you know take the time to get the knowledge and the wisdom that you need and you're seeking from that mother or father you won't go into your spouse feeling like they need to fill your cups or they need to do that and it won't get weird you know and these owls are present owl is a lot of wisdom so it says follow your heart and i want to clarify but i'm gonna pull a mystic monday tarot really quick because i haven't really used these in a while and i was gonna just do these on monday but 
I really like the messages that they give. I don't know if I'm going to start reading out the book because y'all already know I have troubles. But, you know, if I have a feeling that we need to. The Ace of Pentacles. And they're telling me I need to. So basically, with her nails being black, it's telling me that your intentions might not be right. And then the yellow, it's like you were corrupted as a child. Maybe this isn't about your kids. Maybe it's about you and how you fix yourself from the beginning. So this is base chakra, starting from scratch, taking off the mask, going back to the beginning, seeing where, you know, things got messed up or what you need to fix and why are you stuck in the ways you are. So for you to get the Ace of Pentacles, your overall, you have to first find out the root of all evil. You have to cleanse your heart and you really have to get balance. My balance ca candle is dancing and my um, the most high candle. So you have to call on the Father, the most high, and ask for that wisdom and that knowledge and that blessing and that clarity so that you can grow. And then the bottom of the deck is the fool. So you have to start over. You have to be ready for a new journey. Don't be so stuck on what, you know, we were given. Like I say in my other videos, don't be so drawn. And then I love my playing cards. So I'm going to just do a little playing cards and see what they have to say to wrap all these messages up. But start with yourself. You are the ace of pinnacle. You have to remember that. If there's no you, there's no journey. So you have to be the fool and, you know, erase everything that you've learned or you've given or you've been traumatized or stuck with. Like, it is time for open. Y'all probably wondering, like, that six of harmony, like I said, cut out the bull crap and get your harmony. Be the hunter, not the hunted. So how can you hunt if you're not? You know ready for this journey and you how are you gonna get your harmony and you haven't prepared for this journey remember act like this i know people say you're paranoid why are you you know doing the world's not it doesn't matter about what the world is doing it's for you to be prepared and for you to teach your child how to be prepared and if we just on television and we just chilling every day and we really not preparing these people the people in the army spies all the people, they train every day of their life. They eat healthy every day of their life. They don't take no off days. They don't take no fat, no, oh, it's my cheat day. And then it end up being a cheat week. Oh, they dropped a lot. And right now I see the ace of spades, the queen of spades, and the king of hearts. And, it's, and two more cards is flipped over. The eight of, uh, and the two of hearts, and then the five. So basically, me just looking at this, we also worried about this love. And y'all probably wondering why I always got this dress on. This is my house gown, so I don't be naked around my son. I just throw it over my head and, you know, go about my day. But I feel like we so trapped up with love and making somebody, making us happy or giving somebody else the power, you know, to be for us. And we really don't know how to be for self and... We take what the media has taught us about happiness and two and five and balance and king. So if you want your king to help you grow and make those difficult life changes and help you get balanced, I understand that. But it is not easy to find the king that you're looking for, the daddy figure you're looking for. Yeah, we go out. I tell my son and dad all the time, I chose you to be my son and dad for a reason. Not really knowing what he had going on in his life or what, you know, he was hiding from me or not the full story. Like, he had a whole nother family and some more stuff. And, you know, and that's just the surface area. But me getting to know him and seeing the guy that he was and you picks off a surface level. Like, we react and we respond off the surface level. We don't ever go deeper within. All these people have problem and these sixes just keep popping out and I just keep we looking for the harmony we looking for that but we have to first heal our heart and first see what will God do what would the most high do what and 
we always rushing things like, oh, they said that this will happen, this will happen. It takes time. How long does it take for your body to rejuvenate? Like every piece of cell, every piece of everything on your body was brand new. Like this journey is not something that's going to happen overnight. It's not something that's going to... So if you want the growth and the 10 and the 8 and the harmony, you have to focus on yourself. They keep giving me the same stuff, the same information. I know we all, this is the beginning, and y'all want to know a little more. So I'm going to break it down and see what else they're trying to tell us. Because I know it's a bigger message. Five of Swords. Five of Swords to me is basically... You have all the tools you need to fight this battle, but you don't know where to begin. You don't know where to begin. And that's where people like me, I mostly sit back and try to open people's eyes just to so that they can know what's going on around them. And it took me a long time to just get on here and start recording because I'm like... A lot of people that used to come to my house. I used to only read, do my car readings for friends. And I really didn't have friends. I just really... I used to just... You know, if my cousin came over and she was like, Oh, can my friend come over with me? And this is that. And I'm like, alright. And the first thing I always do, because it's usually sitting in my living room. I show them what I do. I do a reading for them. And they love me at the end. And my cousin used to get upset like... Why are you, you know, thinking that the dudes is obsessed with me or want me or stuff like that. But no, when you have somebody that knows how to get inside of the real you and realize and see and can tell you on the table what's going on with you, you want that help from them. You want that guidance. You look for them at that mother. Men look for mothers. Women look for fathers. So... And we get wrapped up with all the sexuality and all that type of stuff because that's what we're used to. That's what we were taught. But in reality, we're just looking for our cups to be filled. We're looking for somebody that has that knowledge or that power to guide us into the person we are. And then when we're old, well, when then people get old and they get married and people change or, you know, routines go, you switch up because that's really not who you were or what you really wanted. Just in that moment, they were helping you with what you needed in that moment so i really i do believe in marriage and all of that but i really rather have a connection and an understanding and grow towards myself i have many uh options where i could have been with somebody or be with somebody and probably people think like oh she's still hooked on her baby daddy no i understand the journey that we're going on i understand why we can't be together i understand that okay so this is what I tell my son, Dad. I looked up his record when we first started talking. I'm 26, he 33. I was like 20 when we first met. And it said basically he was in jail every year since he was like 30, 31. So this is the longest that he been out of jail. His first time going to jail was when he was 16. So I'll be telling him, you only 18 years old. I can't get mad at you for you not not re ready to be a dad or not. And she chewing on the table. I don't know why she chewing on the table. Basically, they, I just be telling him, like, I don't, you know, I can't be mad at you because of where you are and what you got going on and all that stuff because I understand spiritually I understand physically you probably don't get it or you know my ancestors obviously tell me everything I need to know and in situations like that she trying to get her toy off the top of her cake y'all I'm sorry but it, it gets hard, you know, when you see the inside of things, when your eyes are open. I was explaining to somebody, I can walk in a room and I can see how people feel and I can see why they reacted the way they did and all that type of stuff. And when I'm around my family, I usually like, I'm quiet because the things I want to say, I end up being the negative Nancy or, you know, the downer and all that because I rather fix our flaws and critique our flaws as we live and as we move and not, you know, dwell and be like, oh, well, 
I didn't like this and then people you go back and you have a conversation with your mom or your sister or you, you know whoever was around and you discuss how you felt because you didn't speak up right then and there so now they think you're gossiping and talking bad about you know one another or you had some ill intentions no I just wasn't comfortable at that moment to talk about what was going on or I didn't have the chance to process or think about it or see what was going on and now I'm ready to talk about it and sometimes I get to the point where I forget and they're like, oh, well, explain it to me. Tell me what happened. Detail. I don't know because I let stuff go. I don't hold on to things because then that's going to mess me up. I can't function and I can't move if it's chaos around me. And, you know, you end up being the bad guy when you see clearly and you want to fix stuff and move differently. I know this was supposed to be really a card reading. This might be a daily dose with Tilly. Tilly talk something, y'all. But... I'm working on uploading another video that I, the second video that I had recorded last night. But I really wanted to come on here and talk because harmony just keeps popping up. And it's just like, okay, I'm steady telling y'all these messages. I'm reading them back. I hear what I'm saying. But I don't get if you, I don't know if y'all really get what I'm saying. Like, I don't get if I'm clear enough or if I'm using enough words or if I'm saying the right thing. But I'm trying to tell y'all that. You have to be able to remove yourself from what we are used to, to be able to be new, be something new, transform. And these are the same cards that they've been giving me. So I felt like I needed to come on here and explain to y'all a little more because it's the same message. You want to grow, you want fertility, you want to move, you want a positive movement forward. And you want a firm foundation. You want physical, but you started off blocked. You cannot grow. You cannot transform because you haven't planned or you wasn't patient or you haven't been making the right decision. You still, and this is 777 down here. So they're telling you physically, mentally, spiritually, you need to be the God within you. You need to stand ten toes down. You have to make better decisions. Yes, I know we're used to just reacting. We used to just responding. We don't even listen to listen. We just listening to have something to say back. Like and we don't even understand the whole conversation. Like I remember a time where it was a full moon in Virgo, my son dad of Virgo. We sat in the car. This would have been a great time to really dig deep and really understand and talk. But I didn't. I was so excited and so nervous that he even giving me the time of day to even be around him as much as we not around each other we don't know each other so every time i'm around him it feels new and he's telling me i'm not the man that you need to learn from i don't know nothing i'm not strong but like not saying it like that but throwing little stuff to let me know like I'm not the man you think I am type of situation. I'm failing and it's hard and I'm depressed and I got all this going on myself. So how can I have this firm foundation and have this family and home and I need to be a new me? This old me is holding on so tight, I can't grow. So you can't grow, you can't have your fertility, you're blocked and you can't have this physical movement and this strength because we can't let go of the past. So my other videos was let go. There's something bigger out there. It could be relationships. It could be anything. We just need a new slate. And the main person that needs to forgive is yourself. You need to forgive yourself the most so that you can have that time and not be afraid. This is a bit your child, your now, and your old. Same person, always same. It's always a different color. It's a little bit of the last color into the new color. But you have to understand that you change. You are not the same person. You have to forgive and let go. And then it says, seeing the true you. Like I said, we don't know who we are because we were programmed and taught and manipulated to be something different. That the people around us wanted us to be or thought should be me raising my son I'm thinking like I barely let him talk and people think he can't talk because I'm always telling him what to say or telling him what to do and you know not really finding out who he is because I think I know best and I think that you know what I say go and really not giving him the chance to grow this card is all green obviously you know it sums it all up this stuff speaks for itself and a lot and you have to see the true you you have to figure out 
9, 10, 11. 11 is 2. So you have to get balanced and be able to see what's going. And then the bottom of the deck is listening for truth. So if you come on here, oh, I'm good. I, I got a good job. I'm making good money. Me and my husband good. It's not about the foundation of the world. It's not about the concrete that's already laid. It's about the roots that's under and it's about generational curses, gen stuff from, like, me driving from one state to another state because I live, like, on the borderline. And I can see the trauma from the city, just the built of the city. I can see how the people thought. They took us off the boat. We had to get free, so they sent us down the way out of their place so the main state is the racist place and then you got the ghetto and basically they kicked you out your you know out they land and sent you out they set up a bar set out gas station you're gonna need some gas and some fuel to get you going on your trip take this then they oh you want to sleep you got a little hotel right here a little telly take a nap oh you like like that and then you can see the little towns where oh okay Y'all got a little money going. Y'all going good. Let's give y'all a bank. Okay, this is... Oh, I can see how our town was created. And if you go back and watch my other videos, it's all connected together. So, as I was telling y'all about how my grandma had this house for 52 years and all this stuff. And how it grew. And how it become. So, we have to understand. And I used to get upset at my mom a lot. And thinking like she didn't love me and all this stuff. But I had a lovely childhood. I just wasn't mentally being, like my mom worked school, she had multiple kids. Okay, so I'm 26 right now. My mom had me when I was tw uh, when she was 26, and I have two older sisters, and I have a weird dad. He not even weird, he been through his own thing, so not, let me not even say that. Let me get out of my own feelings and my thoughts and stuff like that, because my dad is a lovely man, the best man in the world, very kind, very charming, hard working, he'll get the job done that type but the world that he was given failed him and he's 51 and he's still trying to you know pull himself out that hole and it and it takes me and it you know I have these two people and now they have these kids why is this kid not gonna have what she need because the parents didn't have what they needed and why don't that little girl have what she needed because her mom and her dad died and now she don't have that guy he don't know his dad so they're taking from already from the structure the foundation is already rocky because we still have all these missing pieces so you have to understand why you're founded why you can't start over why you weren't forgiven why are you why you have the beliefs you have and all that type of stuff I'm gonna just cut it off there because I feel very overwhelmed. I feel like we need to sit back and think about that for a while. I might come back later on and talk about more, but because I beat myself up every day. I clean the house. I take care of my son. I do my cars. I do what I got to do, but I feel like I'm always, like if I eat and I know I've been supposed to be fasting, I always beat myself up. Like I'm not going doing good enough and I like shame myself from my journey and I'm like it's more to it than just the little basic stuff. I have to get mental. I have to go deeper and down. Cause physically I'm I got a belly, of course, but I'm not you know, I'm not bad. I'm not and then I try to think of it as it's not about me looking good or looking bad, it's about my health and my healthy and my strong. And then, besides all of that, because I know I'm not going nowhere no time, so I have time to fix that foundation. But it's mostly like the foundation with my child. Okay, I'm upset because I don't feel good. I'm tired. I'm unhappy. Now I'm cranky and I'm yelling at him all day. And how do you feel like that's helping him? We're not building them up. We're tearing them down. And then we wonder why they're lost and confused when they go out in the streets and it's just chaos. So right now I just want to tell you guys to think about the children. Take everything out your cup. Rinse it out. Wash it off. Put a little bit of water in there, you know, just for dehydration. Because you could go days without some water. 
So just rinse your cup out, let it sit there for a little bit, and you build your son a cup. You build your daughter a cup. And you make sure that cup is squeaky clean. You make sure the diamonds on there is nice and strong. You make sure that it's ready to start filling up with the liquids that they're going to need within that time. But you have to start with them. I'm not going to say give up with us, but it's a wrap for us. We need to get our heads out the clouds. We need to stop thinking about these lovers. And we have to heal the nation from the seed. When I build my greenhouse and I build my little camp and all that stuff, my logo and my saying is, I'm Aquatil and I came to fight one seed at a time. And that seed is regarding the children. We have to start with the children. Yeah, I'm nowhere near. I got a little piece of land, but I'm nowhere near building it. I have all the ideas and all the goals and I want to start it in my community. And when it take off, I want to be able to spread it to other communities. But right now we have to heal self. We have to make a way for self and we have to protect our kids and we have to look out for our kids. I'm gonna say a prayer because my son is not here and I just have the feeling like protect my child from all evils that he die not know the overall story. He do not deserve the punishment from within someone else's doom. He is pure. He is a light. He is a goddess. Protect my God. Protect my soldier. Protect my dude. Because he deserves the world. And I'm here to give him the world. Pray over y'all kids every night, y'all. Pray over your kids all day. Stop thinking about, oh, I just need to make this money, get this food, but you're not watching your child. Oh, he's safe with my cousin, they ain't, but you don't know your cousin. Oh, he okay with his grandma. You don't know his grandma. Y'all don't know these people. Just because of the mask people wear in front of your face, you do not know these people. Some of these people don't even know they self. And then some people get hung up about, Oh, well, I know that, but you don't know how they raise their kids. You don't know what their kids been around. I'll remove my child from all of that because I don't want him to learn nothing that I don't want him to learn. And then I, a long time, I was like, well, he'll feel some type of way if I keep not letting him spend a night or if I not let him, you know, hang out, he gonna feel like I always kept him from. But I just have to tell myself, he will understand when he get older that I was protecting him. But I want to say thank y'all. I hope y'all support. I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm, I really want to, I'm very an uh, individual person. Like I said, one seat at a time. If you watch my videos and you just don't like the way my voice sounds or you feel like I'm just too draining, I've just learned to be this person. Slow down. If you, my sister asked me, how, I don't know, but it was basically like she yelled when she screaming, hurry up and get da, da, da. Your son don't know what's going on. But if I talk slowly, Messiah, come here, please. Now he's listening. Now he's calm. Now he's, you know, up for what I'm, you know, what I'm saying instead of yelling. And I just approach my life. I'm just a calm and, you know, person. So if y'all don't like the way my voice, you know, sound, I do apologize, but I'm not drained. I'm not unhappy. I'm none of that. I'm just me. And I tried to come here before and have more, you know, enthusiasm and all this stuff. And I felt like I was all over the place and it was a lot going on. And I was like, it's not me. I'm not being myself and I'm not being able to show y'all my message if I'm not being myself. So I apologize and I just want y'all to know, start with the kids. Please heal these kids. Keep them out the street. Stop worrying about love and all that other stuff. You will have it. My son loved me more than anything in this world. Y'all have to understand. But I feel drained just by, you know, telling y'all that stuff. So I'm going to go. I haven't ate because I've been trying to fast. And that's something that's really hard, like... 
before I used to be able to fast, I used to be able to do all that stuff and this, this and that. I don't know what's going on right with me now. But y'all, we have to fight and we gotta be strong. And I feel like it's not based on fast. And I feel like if I'm feeding myself the right things, the nutritional things, and it's hard because a lot of this stuff is man-made and GMO, and we don't really know what's nutritional for us. We don't know because they lie to us. So if we ever just we die and there's no heaven and there's no hell, or we die and God say, Why you do this? Why you do that? He cannot be upset with you because we do not know. We were so lost and shooken up and thrown all over the place. We are lost souls. And we try to band-aid the situation and we just try to survive and we try to have fun. They say black people the most turned up people. That's because we the hurtest. We hurt the most. When you hurt the most, you laugh the most. You party the most. You drink the most. You, you know, you be around people so that you won't mad. That's how I met my son, Dad. I was 19 at the time. I just got done having cancer. My birthday was coming. I turned 21. I turned 20. I moved back to the town. And he was just a spark of energy. He was just fun. And he was just, like, keeping me away from all my problems and be in my light. And then I had to realize that you cannot force someone else to be your light. And I manifested my son. The doctors told me I couldn't have kids then. Told me, and then I had cancer again. I really can't have kids now. And I've been trying, because I didn't want my son to be alone. And at this point, that's why I've been trying to fast a lot and try to get my health together because I'm like, something is not right. But that's another story, y'all. Peace, love, happiness, and blessings to all.